So uh, tell us how you first got into rapping. Um, how I got into it, just partying. Just, yeah, basically that's it. Just partying, going to the club, and just spending money like the rappers. So I just was like, I might as well try to do it myself. I always had a thing for like writing rhymes and stuff. So uh-huh. I just tried it and, and it ended up working. Okay, cool. Um, who's your favorite New York rapper ever and currently? Favorite New York rapper ever. That'd have to be, um, probably Fab for both. Oh, really? Okay. Okay. Um, what did Bobby Schmurda mean to you and and the city during his run? What did Bobby Schmurda mean to me during the city when what? And, And during his run. Um, he was just like a, a extra, like a extra push to like put New York on the map. Uh-huh. A lot of people wasn't paying attention to New York rap. And then when the whole GS9 movement came through, right. it, they just like brightened up the city, tore the city up. No, for sure. Yeah. That's yeah, for sure. Um, what do you think of the stigma of New York rap being dead? And what do you think? I don't, you're bringing uh to the table um i don't think it's really dead i just think it's more so like the djs just gotta gotta rock with us a little bit more even though even though some of them do rock with you i feel like some of the djs in new york they don't like to break records they rather the record blow up first right and then they want to you know jump on it and everybody jump on the bandwagon i just feel like everybody in new york just got to stick together yeah, and really sure. support each other and the people that's up top got to come back down sometimes and support a little bit more so people could get to where they need to be and i feel like i just bring a, a different type of style i bring that raw yeah. feeling that um i speak all facts that true stuff whatever i talk about i really live it that's why people rock with me do you feel like you're bringing it back in a way yeah, definitely, because, I mean, I don't hold my tongue. Like, if I see somebody, I'm going to say something. Like, if I see a DJ and I want to holler at him, I'm going to tell him, like, yo, you feel me? I feel like you could be doing this, that, and the third. Or if I see an artist, I'll run down on him and spit for him, you feel me? Because I know a, I know a lot of people, but I don't be wanting to, like, even use that as, like, not, not more so a way to get on, but I just be telling people, like, if you can help me, you you can help a little bit. I'm not saying, yo, jump on, like, even for artist example, I wouldn't say, yo, give me a hit. Right. You feel me? I would just say, like, yo, you know, you could introduce me to some producers or right. you could bring me around, like, anything, like, intern, you know, anything. People, people, some people would do anything just to, you know, as a stepping stone to get where they need to be. Yeah, for sure. Um, so if you had to describe your style, how would you? My style is truthful. Raw and uncut, um, uh-huh. up to date, very up to date. Because I, I I usually speak on a lot of the latest topics, too. So up to date, raw, uncut, kind of flashy. Uh-huh. Okay. Um, so what's your favorite song that you've done so far? The favorite song I ever did. Yeah. What is my favorite song? My favorite song is probably. A song I did called Benny when I was telling a story it's sort of like a Meek Mills how he did Tony story uh-huh. but I did a song called Benny what mixtape was that I think that was August 2013 the statement yeah the statement August 2013 that's one of my favorite songs another one of my favorite songs is Roly uh-huh. with my boy Kev Cartier that was tearing up the streets this past year um but yeah I think as my number one favorite I would say Benny Okay, fine, cool. So, what do you have planned for this year? This year, um, I'm out in the West right now. I'm in LA, so I'm just networking out here. I was actually okay. at Wapping out the other day, just you know, meeting a few people, running around. It's cool out here, though. But um, I'm gonna definitely shoot some videos out here just to switch up the scenery because I shoot a lot of videos in New York. Uh-huh. I got a couple in Miami, but I want to shoot some out here. You know, different chicks, meet a di- couple different people. So I'm All just right. out here networking right now. Awesome. But um, I definitely want to drop a tape, like a six or seven song tape. Because I feel like mixtapes now, like they're not as big as they used to be. Because nobody even really putting them out no more. Everybody just putting out little EPs with four yeah. or five songs. Yeah. 
So it's like you got to get straight to the point now because people attention span is not as big as it used to be. Yeah, so that's for sure. Me coming out with a 20, 20, 20 tracks on the tape is probably not going to do me no good right now.